All right, my PUL is still on the floor from yesterday. Let me just clean off my workspace here and pull it on up. I need to find a place where I can nest them together. If I put this one here, then I may be able to nest another one. Yep. Yeah, we can do that. All right, let me grab my lamp. Hold the PU up, please. Lamp. Thank you. All right. Get this lined up. I like to use as much of this fabric as possible, so I kind of cut it close usually. Draw around it real quick. I'm going to go ahead and draw around both of them, show you what that looks like, and then I'll cut it out. You guys don't have to watch me cut things out. If you want to watch me cut things out, see the Sew With Me series. There's one on a brown dollop diaper and a purple uh, Mario diaper. Almost done with this. Now I can go back over here. Get as low as I can here. Straight away point. All right, should be good. the way around. Now they're nested together and I have saved space. I just have the tiny little scrap between here. So let's cut this out. All right, I have two pieces of PUL. That one, and that one. This tiny little scrap. Let me throw that away. And to my PUL could just fall off the table again. Who cares? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the big gaping hole in one of these pieces of PUL. Just in case you're just now starting with one of my videos, I'll show you what the big gaping hole looks like. On the inside of this diaper, this is the diaper we're gonna make, um, I have shiny PUL, and that's the one, that's the whole piece. And then this one with the big gaping hole in it actually allows me not only access to wipe off the shiny part of the PUL, but it also holds in my inserts. So I can lay the insert in here, it'll hold that in place, and then we can cover it up. If baby just pees, then we can reuse this, or if baby just pees, you know, on the inside. If you, if he pees a lot and you get it everywhere, then obviously you'll have to replace this, but, or if it's pooed on, but, um, if it's just a pee diaper, um, and I know some moms who just set this aside, they just lay it out to dry, grab another one. And when that one's wet, they go back to this one. Cause that one will be dry and they use two all day long. So as very, these covers are very convenient that way. You can reuse them all day. You can get through a day with just two or three covers. Whereas if you had all-in-ones or pockets, 
you'd have to have exactly the same number of diapers as you do diaper changes. All right. I last night I made the inner circle, but I decided tonight that that actually is a little bit too small of a hole once the elastic is put in there. So I made it just a little bit bigger. Um, I went ahead and cut this one back. So this is what it will finally look like. I feel like that is a little bit plenty. So for a newborn diaper, you just need to hold a newborn insert. So let's see how that ended up. Two and a half inches from the edge on the back. Two and a half inches from the edge on the front. Wow, how did I get so accurate? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the inner hole out. Give me just a second. All right, the hole is cut. We have three pieces now. The holy P-U-L, the solid P-U-L, and our pretty outer in this case. Comic with a little bit of blue. And I think the white snaps uh, will show up really nicely on that blue. All right. Um, let's stop there and I'll start another video.